today we will try to simulate tripping of non-essential loads T1 and T2 according to this one page drawing we will have basic schematics reading and how to simulate this overload trip basically we will use this generator number two device overload and reverse power combination relay this is called 6u3 6u3 is the device tag for this particular overload and reverse power relay how to read the basics first we have to identify this page as a loan and uh, only schematics for this main switchboard tripping and essential loan this is page 25 and these numbers 1 to 8 refers to the current path you see for every number there is a particular column that we will explain later how to find where is this device for example 2u3 5u3 6u3 and 7u3 and all of this relays 4k 16 17 18 and 19 and indicator lumps 4h2 and 4h3 first we have the switchboards with plenty of vertical sections for these vertical sections we read from the left to the right starting from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and so on so to find 2u3 the device for this power relay we need to count from here 1 2 2 and the device tag inside this 2u3 5u3 1 2 3 4 5 5u3 is here Six and seven next how to find this 4k 16 17 18 19 relays and indicator lumps for h2 and h3 again vertical sections one two three four this is the section that we need to open and here we see 4K 16, 17, 18, and 19. And indicator lamp 4H2, 4SH2, S means switch because this is a reset button in combination with lamp 4SH2. 4S2 is here, the normally close contact 1 and 2, 1 and 2. And H2 for H3 is here with only lamp 42. So now we will try to simulate this overload trip for an essential load tripping D1 and D2. It was decided to use generator number 2 that is running to simulate the overload trip to simulate this trip
we will decrease the set point from 65% down to around 20% for the percentage and the time delay from 13 seconds right now we will reduce to zero so that we will not wait for another 13 seconds this normally open contact 6 and 7 with 220 volts across if this is triggered this 6 and 7 normally open contact will close later we will see to it that it will close when we simulate if this 6 and 7 becomes close this relay 4K16 will be energized all these devices are in parallel so any one of this when triggered with a trip will energize 4K16 and in domino effect all of the other relays according to this auxiliary contacts when this coil is energized for 4K16 we have two auxiliary contacts attached to it normally open 25-3 and 25-4 so how to find these contacts 25 means the page number 25 and 3 is the current path at column 3 so this is the one contact under number 3 25-3 This is the contact 13 and 14 and another contact 43, 44. This can be found at 25-4 under column 4, 43 and 44. Now this is energized 4K16 now close at 13 14 contact and 43 and 44 this and this if this is close it will flow to 4s2 this one that is close normally and flow again to another relay 4K17 when this coil is energized all of the auxiliary contacts at open position will now close 20 in 25-4, 5 and 6 and one normally close 25-8 column 8 21 22 will open this three will close and this one will open 25-4 can be found here 13-14 13-14 normally close 21 22 is here 33 34 is at 25-5 here column 5 contact 33 34 and 25-6 under column 6 43 44 so when we have a close loop here another 220 volts close loop this will also lift 
is for H2 T1 T1 tripping and essential loads will trip What are these loads? When 4K17 is energized here this will close and activate this shunt trip meaning you have 220 volts closed loop here to the coil of this shunt trips 813 for provision tray 816 power panel board number 3 at main deck and 1113 at galley range so this is the group of T1 loads next 4k18 timer relay now is energized this 4k18 is a on delay timer relay meaning it will wait for 8.5 seconds to close contacts 15 and 18 15 and 18 here normally open contact 25-5 under column 5 only one auxiliary contact so when this is closed and this one is close already from before 4k19 will have a close loop with this 220 volt system so when this is energized all of its auxiliary contacts will change for normally open contact it will close like this first 1314 this acts as a latching contact even if this is open this will stay energized because of this latching contact the same with this this is a latching contact or self self maintaining contact of this 4k17 now when 4K19 is still energized we have three normally open auxiliary contacts that will close 25-5 25-5 again here 13-14 here and 43-44 under 25-6 column and one normally close contact that is here for AMS indication so we have here indication to AMS an essential load trip from normal it will change to trip condition if this is open trip non-essential load to LM meaning alarm indication to Lingsu Marine AMS I will check the contact I want to see this contact if it will change No, 
now it's now it's open. We have two twenty volts. This six seven. Yes. Oh. We, will, this one, yeah? we will remove time delay, yes. Zero. Then and you reduce this set point for the flipper. Slowly we will uh, lower the set point. So it was 65 before? 65. Eh? Okay. See? Now it's close. Yeah, I see. Okay, so good point. I will put back this. 65, yeah. 65 and, and 30 13. Then, first things first, no. Gali.